going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin Brown, also known as Expressed Words with a Z. And welcome back to Speak It, See It, Feel It, where you can speak your life into existence. You can see it becoming your reality and you can feel as if it is already yours, guys. It is already done. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to another video. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today, and I hope you guys are continuing to have a blessed week, chosen ones. Remember, do not quit. We do not throw the towel in, man. We're gonna continue to keep on keeping on, okay? Now, listen up very carefully. Not gonna be too long of a message today, but somebody needs to hear this message right now, okay? God is protecting you from something or someone. All right, come on, family. I know somebody can hear me. God is protecting you from something or someone, okay? Remember, a lot of you guys are about to step foot into your breakthrough season, right? Things that you have prayed for a long time ago, family, a long time ago, right? God promised you something. He talked to you. He spoke to you. You heard his voice clearly, all right, and you are about to step foot into that season. We talked about this, okay? A lot of you guys have gone through those trials and tribulations for years, for many different seasons, and this is your time to reap everything that you have sowed, okay? And right now, through the attacks that you are experiencing, because I know a lot of you are feeling the attacks, all right? And the attacks might be ramping up. I'm telling you, they might be ramping up financially. They might be ramping up emotionally. They might be ramping, ramping up physically, all right, you might be feeling the attacks from many different aspects of your life right now, not realizing what has happened, especially when God told you that the blessing is coming and it's for you. But remember, everything happens in divine timing. God is protecting you from something or someone. When you're supposed to go to that event this weekend or wherever you're supposed to go, you got something planned and you're running a little late for it. You couldn't find your car keys. You couldn't find your high heels. You couldn't find your nice dress shoes. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't find your tie. You couldn't find your wallet. All right. Pay very close attention, family, to your path and to the things that's happening along your journey. Because if you're going to be late for something, all right, don't be upset about it. Don't be upset when things seem to go wrong when you have planned for them to go a certain way because God could be protecting you from something or someone. All right. You could be late going to, you know, a party for someone. You could be late going to an engagement gathering. You could be late going to, you know, wherever it may be, maybe a birthday party, something. Right. You could be running late and you're upset at yourself over that. But guess what? Along your path, there was a car accident. And if you would have left five minutes earlier, it would have been you that got hit by that semi that ran through the stop sign. It could have been you. But no, God is protecting you from something or someone, family. Listen, remember, the enemy is really after you guys, family, all right? That door that God promised you that was going to be open for you and only you, it's about to be open. You are about to reach it. You've been walking, you've been trucking on, you've been moving, you've been pushing the needle forward for a very long time and you've been feeling the attacks, but you continue to keep going. You've been feeling the attacks, but you said, I'm not gonna let that stop me. You've been feeling the attacks and you said, no, I will not quit. I'm going to reach my door. And God said, the door is open. The door is open for you. No man can close the door that is I've already opened for you. You guys are about to step foot into your breakthrough season. The attacks are going to ramp up guys. And some of those attacks may be heavier than the attacks that you have experienced in your last several months, in your last year or two, they may be heavy. All right, y'all remember the story of Job in the Bible and scripture. All right, those attacks may be heavy. You might be going through something major, but God promises you, man, that you will get to your door. You will step foot through it, family, okay? This is not the time for you guys to give up right now. This is not the time for you to quit. You must continue to keep on keeping on. You must keep on pushing family because you're being divinely protected. Remember, chosen ones, you are divinely protected, divinely protected, all right? So when, like I said, when certain things happen along your path and you didn't plan for them, or I'm saying maybe you, your, your money got depleted, you didn't plan for it, something happened to your car, you didn't plan for it, that money was supposed to be used for your kids to go somewhere, was supposed to be used for that bill, you didn't plan for it, enemy is shaking y'all up right now, but God is protecting you from something or someone, even the job, guys, even the job. A lot of you are losing your jobs. A lot of you might be losing your jobs. They may be downsizing. 
They may be ready to lay you off. You might just be getting fired. A lot of you might be getting to that point where you're losing your job or you might have been going through weeks the past couple of weeks where you're feeling stress. You're feeling that your boss is after you. You're feeling that your coworkers is after you way more than usual. And it's almost like they're planting information on you. Like you're going to get in trouble at work and there's no way around it. Sometimes you gotta let the enemy just do his dirty work so God can come in and swoop you guys up and put you on that pedal stool, right? You are being protected right now, family, through whatever it is that you are experiencing, through whatever it is that you are battling. Remember, you must go through that furnace, all right? You must push through it. You must go through it to grow through it. You must go through it to grow through it. You can't go around it, right? You can't just back up and say, no, 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 no. I don't even want to face it. I'm too, I, I'm too scared, God. I don't know what to do. No, 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 no. You have to go through it, family. You have to go through it to grow through it. It's going to make you a better person. It's going to make you a much better person, okay? So when these attacks pick up, when they ramp up, and it feels like that it's never going to end, it feels like you cannot see the forest through the trees. If it, it's, It literally seems like you're sitting here like this. You're like, is that my blessing over, over there? Is that, is that it, man? I can't even tell. Is it a trick of the enemy? I can't even tell. God already promised it to you. The enemy's definitely going to try to trick you. All right? But even though you can't see it, even if it is a trick of the enemy and you do get close to it, you are being protected by the Most High. So the fact that you took one step, two step, three step, four steps, 10 steps to get to that spot, trusting the process, believing and having faith, that you're going to make it out. God's going to redirect your footsteps and make sure that you get to where you're supposed to be. So all you have to do is to continue to trust the process. All you have to do is believe that everything is going to work in your favor in divine timing and that God is protecting you through whatever that you guys are dealing with right now in your life. Whatever you guys are dealing with, right now in your life okay the promise is when god makes a promise to you guys trust and believe that it will be done his will shall be done for you all right so don't be don't be timid don't be scared don't go crawl back in the corner you know what i'm saying don't don't worry don't fret and that's what the exactly what the enemy wants to get up here in your mind family to steer you off course to still kill and destroy to make sure that you're not able to get back up when you've been knocked back down and how many times have y'all been knocked back down come on Y'all been knocked down a lot. I've been knocked down a lot. I can tell y'all that right now. I've been knocked down a lot. But every single time I got back up, and guess what? I was stronger every time I got back up. Y'all are gonna go through the same thing, family. So this is what you're going through right now. Some of you might see it. There's a major shift happening right now on the planet. And I know a lot of you guys can feel it, man. Please let me know down below in the comment section if you guys can feel the shift occurring. You might be feeling it deep within your core. You might be feeling the shift happening in your, in your life. You can feel a shift happening in your family. You can feel a shift happening in your friend group, if you still have them, within your acquaintances, at, at your job, in your finances. It's a tornado effect, man, of every of things just happening. And see, the many people that's, that, that's stuck in this tornado right here, they're going to be chewed up. They're going to be thrown out. They're going to be thrown miles away. And they're not even going to know what to do. They're going to be hurt. They're not going to be able to get back up. You guys have the strength, man, to get back up and to keep on keeping on, to keep on going. That's why you were chosen for this journey. That's why you were chosen for this mission, right? That's why you must continue to get it done, family. You are being protected. God is protecting you from something or some someone, all right? So when you feel it and when you see it happening, you must know to go through the furnace. That's what I'm here to tell you right now. This is your motivation, for Thursday, carry it with you into the weekend, all right? And pay close attention to when things don't align or don't uh, work out the way that you see fit and how you expected them to, all right? Because God could be rearranging your plans right now simply to protect you from something happening to you, all right? So that's why it's important to not react at situations, man. So many people react. Like they just be reacting at situations. Like as soon as something happen, happens, they immediately react in a negative manner. You don't need to react in a negative manner all the time. Sometimes you just need to sit back, observe and just ask God, okay, what's happening on? It's just like me yesterday, family. 
right? Is as y'all know, y'all saw my community post, man. I tried to, that video I put out yesterday about eight signs that you might be blocking your blessings, all right? That that video took me all day to put out. I've been working on that video for hours <laughs> yesterday, family. Like it was crazy. It kept failing. You know what I'm saying? Something kept messing up and then something would work. I, I would get a couple steps and then I would get pulled five or seven steps back. Like something always happened. And did it frustrate me? Yes, it frustrated me. I'm going to be honest. Yes, I'm human still. <laughs> it frustrated me. But guess what? I didn't let it get under my skin, though. I didn't let it get to me to the point where I just threw in the towel. and was like, man, I'm done. I'm I'm just going to throw this video out. Whatever. I'm just going to try it tomorrow. Nah, I kept on going, man. I stayed up late to get that video out because I really wanted to get it out to you family. But not only that, it was my it was what I needed to do. Okay? So the attacks are going to ramp up and I've been feeling it lately with my channel, with videos and stuff and trying to upload it. I I've, I've been feeling it myself. So I know if I've been feeling it cuz a lot of we're on the same vibration, right? We resonate with each other. These messages, we we're on the same even keel family. We're all in this together. All right? So I know you guys are going to be feeling it as well. So as you're going through major uh, changes in your life right now, some of you are going through major changes right now, major changes, right? Maybe you lost a loved one. Maybe you lost a partner. Maybe you went through a major breakup. Maybe you lost your job. Maybe you got a new job. Maybe you got a new home. Maybe you just had a baby, right? You're going through some major changes and that's a huge energetic shift. But with that shift is going to bring on other difficulties. It's going to bring on other roadblocks. It's going to bring on other things where the enemy is going to want to jump on that path to simply stop you. And that is where you put up your finger and you're like, no, 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 Satan, you, you can't stop me, right? You, you, you can't stop me. God has already given me the glory. He's already given me the gift. He's already given me the grace to keep on keeping on and to keep on moving the needle forward. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do, right? That's what you guys need to tell yourself. And that is exactly what you need to do. Continue to take action and just do it. Move towards it, guys. Move towards it because... Remember, God is protecting you from something or someone right now, all right? If the narc tries to show back up in your life, pay a close attention. Remember, new seasons is gonna bring these new devils right back. They may have a new level of, of demonic energy to them and they may be, they're gonna try to come right back into your lives and they're gonna try to harm you guys. They're gonna try to manipulate you guys. They're gonna try to trick you guys. They're gonna tell you, I love you, I'm so sorry. I'm a changed person, right? It's getting close to Christmas time too. Right, it's getting close to that fall season where people want to be cuddled up. They don't want to be alone. They're gonna to try to come back into your life, fellas. Y'all too. Y'all watch out for the Jezebel women. All right, I'm telling you, it goes both ways, man. It goes both ways. It goes for females and males. All right, the enemy's out here to roam the streets. So God is going to protect you through these battles, through these struggles. But you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have your discernment. Your discernment has to be on key, family. It's gotta be on key. It's got to be on point, okay? So y'all continue to keep on keeping on, man. Keep moving the needle forward. Like I said, if things don't work out the way that you expected them to, do not react in a negative way, but pay close attention to it and move swiftly. Move with the move with it, all right? Just go. continue to go with the flow. Just go with the flow and uh, trust the process. Don't get upset and trust the process, okay? And then just be worried. Be very, very uh, cognizant of your surroundings, of the people that's coming back into your lives, all right? Don't let them manipulate you, family. Don't let them do it. Like I said, new season is going to bring on new levels of dark energy, all right? So y'all pay very, very close attention, man. I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your Thursday. Y'all have continue to have a great day, man. It's really, really nice outside. It's super, super windy today, um, but it's extremely nice, man. I think today's the first day of fall, right? I think today's the first day it's What's today? The 22nd? It's the, yeah, today's the 22nd. I think today's the first first day of fall. That's probably why it's crazy windy, man. I like fall time. I love fall time. So y'all enjoy yourselves, man, today. But remember, do not throw the towel in. Keep on keeping on, guys. Keep moving the needle forward. And remember to drop your success stories below as well, man. Because when the blessings come in, when the breakthroughs begin to show up because of all the things that you guys have gone through, come back and share it with the community, family. All right, come back and let us know okay so i hope y'all have a great rest of your thursday i love y'all to life 
And also one last thing, if remember, if you want to talk and you want to have one-on-one -on -one session with me, head on over to my website, family, okay? www.speakitseeitfeelit.com. It's going to pop up on your screen right there. You guys can book your session with me. I would love to talk to you, okay? So I love y'all to life once again, and I will see y'all soon in the next video. Peace.